welcome back to my second video. Um, I wanted to make this video because um, I, I want to be consistent, basically. And, um, and update you guys on what's going on um, BSG with me. So, I'm still in the process of getting approved for insurance um, right now. They have sent my stuff over to insurance, basically, to get approved. I keep saying that. But they sent my stuff over uh, last Friday. So, today is February 9th, Saturday. And they sent it over on the 31st. So, on my little app, I can see, like, um, the process, you know, basically the status of the authorization. And it's basically saying that right now um, it's pending and the due date, basically the last date for them to be able to approve or deny it is um, the 15th, which is, which is Friday. So, I'm hoping by this coming up week, I will um, take the seatbelt off. I will find out... If I'm approved or denied, um, I pray that I am approved. I honestly don't even think I can be denied. But I know I can. Like, Don't get it twisted. I know I can get denied. But um, I also wanted to update you guys on the last thing I've done since my video. So since the last video, um, I... Um, I'm sorry, Siri's asking me what I want. I want nothing, girl. But the last video, I told you guys that I had my psych eval, and then the next day I was going to have my my um dietitian nutritionist class. So I'm gonna just um give you guys some information on it. So this is the bag that they gave me. Mer Memorial Bariatric Surgery. So they gave me like a bag with um it came with a water bottle and um I have a fetish for cups. Like my cabinet is full with different little weird bottles and cups and stuff. Um so they gave me this. Oh I just noticed that it says bariatric <laughs> memorial surgery which I don't like. I don't want I don't want everyone to know that I'm having bariatric surgery. I want to speak on that too. But I'm going to speak on that later. And guys, I'm coming from my car because I just... For some reason, the car is like... Tranquility to me, if I'm saying that right. It's it's like peaceful. Like when I'm... When I don't want to be in the house, but I don't have anywhere to go. Because literally, like I don't really do that much. I come to my car and I just listen to music. You know, go through my phone on social media and that's pretty much what I do. But that's why I'm recording from my car because my son is home, my boyfriend's home, they're in there, and I just feel more comfortable doing it here. I'm not I'm not comfortable recording um yet in my home with other people there. So the last video I did, nobody was home. I waited for everybody to leave before I recorded. But back to what I was doing. So, um, when I went to my dietitian class, let me just walk you through that visit. I'm trying to remember. I got bad memory. So, when I went to my dietitian class, I I walked in and I, and I sat and I spoke to the dietitian. And she kind of just basically asked me about, like, my eating habits now. And I was telling her, you know, that I'm on keto. So I eat a low carb diet, high fat, moderate protein. And then she started asking me like, how much water do you drink in a day? And I said on a good day, I drink uh, 48 to 68 ounces, which is true because that's a good day. On a bad day, I drink maybe like a bottle or two of water and I know that that's really bad. And I know that that's something that I definitely have to do better with because I know with this surgery, Getting your water in is important. So I told her that. Um, she asked me about exercising. And I told her. With me. It's like I can diet. And I can exercise. But to put them two together. Is like the struggle for me. And I know that. 
that's something that I definitely have to work on and get better with. And I'm ready for the challenge, basically. So then she also asked me, did I drink coffee? And I told her yes. And she told me that she wanted me to go to decaf. Who chill? She told me to slowly do it. So she said, you know, when you get your cup of coffee, put a little bit of decaf. And then each time or, you know, little by little, put a little bit more decaf to eventually you're fully decaf. I tried that three times and it was like a complete fail. I feel like it's made me rebel to drink even more caffeine because I'm a latte kind of girl. I didn't turn into a macchiato girl. Like this is from McDonald's. They caramel macchiato. First of all, this is definitely not keto. And for the past week, I have not been doing good on keto. Like I've, I've kind of just been like F it type of situation. Um, turn the radio down. So, yeah, and it has a lot to do with me being on my cycle for some reason. Um, my cycle came early this month. This might be TMI, but it came early this month. And usually I PMS and crave usually about a week or two weeks before my menstrual cycle. And then when my menstrual cycle come, I don't even really usually want anything. But this one was different. It came early, which is rare for me because my cycles last like 40 something days it's so stupid i know but it came early just like it did last month it's been coming like every 30 days which is like it's great because you know that's what you've been taught that usually a cycle comes or whatever but yeah i've been craving and stuff like that and i haven't been doing good with keto which means i've been eating carbs i've been drinking sugar um, but nine times out of ten, if I have a latte, it's no sugar in it. I've just come so accustomed with ordering it that I don't even, I don't put sugar in it. I usually just do a, a latte with cinnamon and a friend told me about the cinnamon. She put cinnamon in her latte to make it have flavor and then she said it causes her not to want to put sugar in it. So I do that and then I do sugar-free vanilla. So, I've been sucking at one of those things. So, that's one of the things she told me that was one of my goals. Is to get off of caffeine and go to decaf. Because, um, from what she explained to me, you're not supposed to have caffeine once you have the surgery. Because caffeine stretches your stomach out. Which is what we're trying to prevent. Um, as well as soda. And, um, any kind of, like, acidic type of drinks and stuff like that. Um, so I've been sucking at that. And she basically gave me a goal, and that was one of them. And another goal was to um, walk at least three times within a work week and one time on a weekend. I've been doing pretty good with that. This week, I don't believe I walked three times on a week during the week. I think I only did it. I think I only did it once. I feel like I, I want to say twice, but it feels like once, which is bad. This week just flew by. But anyway. So that was one of the things and I did it the week before and I have no problem with walking. Um, it's easier for me to walk during the week when I actually bring lunch. If I don't bring lunch, that means I gotta go out and get lunch. By the time I come back, I'm trying to hurry up and eat before I have to go back to work. It leaves me with no time of walking. So that's the key to, to me being successful with walking and get my, you know, get my steps in or whatever. But anyway, so they gave me some paperwork. I've had this in my hand for the last couple of minutes. They gave me some paperwork. And this is guidelines when selecting vitamins. And it just tells you all the different vitamins that that you should take. Like the multivitamins, the crystal powders, and um, the different capsules. And it tells you how much you should take. It tells you where to find it. It's just like a... Um, a whole chart basically I don't know if you guys can see that but yeah it's pretty much like a whole chart so I haven't really looked over this much um and since I'm on vitamins they did also give me samples of the bariatric fusion um vitamins so they gave me a couple in a pack I I've taken one so far. 
and it has some information on it. And it has uh, different flavors. So, they gave me that. They also gave me, um, let's see if I can find it. They also gave me one of these little mini cups. And if you watched some VSD videos, you know people have these cups so that they can drink out of. Because after surgery, this is what they're going to be um, looking for you to do. Is drink out of these cups. It's going to give me one of those. And um, this is also from Bariatric Fusion. Which is, um, I, think, I believe it's a protein powder. No, it's actually multivitamin. It's a, it's a vitamin thing that you put in your um your water. And I also have a I also have another vitamin. Yeah, this thing. I guess it's like one of the chewable ones. I guess they try to give me like a sample of it. Let me open it. I don't like stuff open like this. It kind of reminds me of Halloween candy when you find like a little pack that's open separately. You don't eat it. Or at least I didn't. So that's what this looks like. I guess it's the um chewable vitamin. Ew, it doesn't smell too good. I might eat it. I don't know. I don't like that. They, they gave me one little separate chewable. I guess they just want you to sample it or something. I don't know. But they gave me that. They also gave me a paper for bariatric support group. So... With my surgery, one of the requirements is I have to go to a support group. And that's mandatory, at least one. And it kind of gave me some of their January dates. But of course, it's going to be outdated by the time I need to, um, by the time I need to go one to one. So I will be doing that. And if it's something that I like, I will probably maybe continue. I don't know. So then she also was telling me like one of the things that they want me to do is snack. It just depends on what I'm snacking on, which is of course any any kind of diet or lifestyle change that you do is gonna you can snack. It's just gonna consist. It's just gonna. I'm sorry. It's just gonna be based on what you are snacking on. So she kind of gave me like a printout of the different kind of snacks that I can, you know, look for and buy and which would be good snacks. Which is like some tuna, hard-boiled eggs, fat-free cottage cheese, almonds, um, turkey jerky, turkey pepperoni, seven large boiled shrimp, Dipped in two tablespoons of Newman's own light sun. Dang, I got it got specific with it. Uh, one um, wedge of light laughing cow cheese. Five celery steaks. Just some, just some things. Uh, bariatric Advantage product order form. It gives me a fifteen percent discount. This tells you um. The supply and you know what you can get basically they also give you a vitamin recommendation based on your procedure so they have the bypass they have the sleeve and they have the distal bypass or the BPD dash DS that one that's kind of crazy to me so it tells you like what you should be taking and then i think this is the one yep so this is the one for the protein powder um these are all of the ones that they recommend if it's not on this list they say that you shouldn't you shouldn't take it they've done the research on it you know to make sure that um it's suitable for someone who's had bariatric surgery so of course everyone talks about premier protein that's on here and Shore Max, that's on here. I actually was given a sample for this from them too. And I drank it that day and it was pretty okay. You know, when I thought of the protein drinks, I thought they were going to be thick and like a meal replacement. So I drank it. 
hoping that it was going to be a male replacement for me at this stage in my life. It was not. I don't know. I drank it and it was like, oh, okay, so this is how it tastes. This is what I'm probably going to be drinking once I have the surgery. And it's not helping me be full right now, but I'm pretty sure it will back then. Um, they got ISO Pure, which I see people all over YouTube using. Um, muscle Milk. Atkins Lift. I've never even heard of that. All different kind of things on that list. And then they also gave me... Put my vitamins back on my purse. They also gave me some coupons. So this is a coupon for the Ensure Max protein. Save, uh, save three dollars. And another one is mm, that's not this one. I guess this is the order form. I don't know. Mm, two coupons for Ensure Max. So that was a little like add-on things that they put on in the bag, little information thing. But this is the most. Um, important thing in my opinion that they gave me which is my bariatric educational manual so we kind of went through this um in the in the class so it was me and two other ladies there it was another lady that was getting vsg and then it was another lady who was there and she was getting the bypass and she currently had the lap band and she was still a she was a bigger woman basically she was still overweight i don't know where she came from but she did look like she was around my weight and yeah that just goes to tell you that not saying that there's anything wrong with that or anything but this was the manual that we went through and just to show you guys some of the things that we went through so this one was to show you like it was like a like a quiz which one has the less calories and this actually shocked me because some of the ones that i chose <laughs> wasn't right and it just go to show you that it's more to food than what meets the eye but it's all kind of stuff in this book um i'm gonna definitely go through it right before i have my surgery they talk about Oh guys, I'm so sorry. They talk about B12. Like when you take B12 as being a bariatric patient, you no longer can take it orally because of the surgery. You have to get it. Um, either you have to get the B no the B12 nasal, or you have to get the injection from your doctor or the sublinguals, which I had already. I was taking at one time. So they also. Um, in this book, it tells you about dumping syndrome. It tells you about the vitamins, what you should be taking. It tells you about the post-op and pre-op diet that you will be on. It even gives you like a breakdown on what foods you can and cannot have. They even teach you about this like... um protein 10% rule I don't know if anyone has ever heard of that but they give you like nutritional um labels that's on the back of the food and it tells like they teach you that when you're eating a product um what you want to do is look at the calories you want to so let's say this one it says that I don't know if you guys can see this uh focus focus camera focus whatever it don't matter so this one says this product ground beef has 184 calories so you drop the four and you use just the the 18 part the 18 the 184 drop the four 18 that's how much uh protein should be in it for you to be able to know that that's a good thing to eat as far as protein so protein has 22.19 grams it has more than 18, so this is a good product for you to for you to eat for protein, ground beef. So that was kind of cool to learn. Then it tells you this was important. This is how you should be eating once you're able to eat solid foods, but it tells you what your plate should consist of. Half protein, half vegetables. 
And then eventually, your plate can be half proteins, a quarter carb, a quarter vegetable. So, it teaches you about that too. So, it's a lot of information in here. Things that you should do in a the hospital. They teach you, they tell you, you know, what's going to happen in the hospital. They got your, your post op diet. Your pre-op diet in here. That was the pre-op. All kinds of stuff in here. Like, all kinds of stuff in here. And I think um, everybody kind of gets that. I seen another girl um, show her book. And, yeah. So, that's what happened at my dietitian visit. Um, trying to think what else happened. Yeah, that's about it. Everything is sent over to insurance, though. So that's an update on what happened at the dietitian visit. And I felt like it was really good. Um, I ended up paying $85 for that. And they said that was basically like your membership, almost like a membership fee. So basically I'll be able to use that dietitian, call them, come in, email them, ask them any kind of questions for the rest of my life. Cause I had surgery at this place and this is the program that they have. So, I, um, I'm ready. I'm super ready. And I just need this insurance to just let me know what it is. Like, let me know what it is. Tell me if I'm approved. When I'm approved, I'm gonna just be so happy because y'all, I'm just thinking about living my best life after the surgery. Like, I feel like I'm gonna be a new me. Like, girl, I'm just super excited, guys. I'm super excited, and it's kind of, kind of messed with me a little bit too because now I'm like, dang, I'm not gonna be able to eat anymore. I'm kind of pre having um a food funeral in a way, but yeah. So I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update on that whole process. Um, for the dietitian and where I'm at right now, I'm waiting on my insurance to approve it. I'm probably going to come to you guys with another video right after this. So if you see me with the same thing on, um, it's because I'm just going to do another video because this video is already 22 minutes and my videos are probably going to be like rants, if not rants, but just me talking as if you were here because that's just how I get my thoughts across. I can't really like pre schedule and pre think what I'm gonna say. It's kind of just me talking to you guys. So for the people that have watched my videos, which is not a lot, um, I know I'm new to the YouTube game. Thank you so much for for watching my videos. Please, guys, you can like, comment, and subscribe to me because it's gonna keep me consistent. Because if I know there's people out there watching my videos and that like my videos, of course I'm gonna I'm gonna create more videos. It has nothing to do with anything besides that. Like, I love to talk, as you can see. And this has broke my YouTube virginity because I wanted to do YouTube for so long. And this, this right here, this process has made it happen for me because I feel so open and willing to tell my journey and what's been going through what i've been going through so if you have any comments if you have any questions you know just let me know put it in the comment section um and i'm probably about to end this video because it's going on 25 minutes i'm gonna come to you guys with another video that one's probably gonna be more i'll probably have to sit down and write that one down just so i can think it through but it's gonna be things that i hope to change or things that I hope will change once I have the surgery. Like, let's face it. Everybody hopes things are going to change. Like, you're going to lose this weight. You're going to be motivated. And some shit is going to change for you. So, I'm about to come back to you guys with that video in a couple of minutes. Um, so, I'll probably have two videos coming up. So, guys, like, comment, subscribe to my channel, please. And I'll see you guys in my next video.